Hey guys, I hope you're well and welcome to today's edition of uh, 600 Seconds of Trading. It's December 12, 2017 and my name is Alejandro Zambrano, Chief Market Strategist with the TradeCaptain.com and Amana Capital. I'm going to provide you guys with a quick update on the markets, but before we start, as always, I need to stress that trading financial markets is unfortunately risky, and there's a general risk that we lose all of our invested money. So please bear that in mind before you start trading. If you're new to this, don't forget to read the risk disclaimer on our homepage. Just visit the TradeCaptain.com and click on Risk Disclosure Statement. Okay, so in this presentation, we're going to take a look at all the key markets, Euro dollar, Bitcoin, crude oil, gold, and the DAX 30. Uh, if you are interested in more markets, then we do host uh, webinars for Amana Capital and Trade Captain's clients. Just click on Premium up here, and you can sign up uh, for that. You do need to have, however, uh, at, uh, an account with Amana Capital. Now, if you're new to Amana Capital or trading in general, don't forget to click on this banner up here because one of the better ways of learning about the market is actually to download a demo account and use that to practice. Now, let's begin. This is the Euro versus the USD. The market is trading sideways between 117.10 and 118.15. Now, I suspect that if we trade above 118.15, this market could have turned bullish. Uh, the reason for that is that at this point, we will stop creating these lower and lower and lower and lower highs. So the last lower high is here at pretty much 18.15. Uh, that is yesterday's high. And if we take out this level, I suspect this market would have turned around it could be targeting 1879. On the other hand, if the market takes out this low here created on the 21st of November, this low is the 1710 level, then this market could break the downside and go down to 1636. In the price of Bitcoin, uh, the market is bullish and we did manage to take out uh, this high here created on the uh, 8th of uh, December. But the market and the market is pretty much around the same levels now. Now I would wait for the market to uh, move down to support. I'm looking at about 15,431 from this level. I suspect the market could go to the upside uh, in the following fashion, uh, and I'm happy to remain bullish as long as you trade above uh, this low here, which is. Um, 14,000 but the actual level I'm looking at is 13,855 now if we trade take out the high here then yes obviously it's gonna go up and if this trades at 20,000 or you know in the next month or two it wouldn't surprise me at all uh, the reason why I don't wanna I wanna adjust here or you know if one is long from the high I would close that down and the reason for that is that you can see the market went up and then it went down and also we're gonna do some more consolidating and then obviously take out the high and the things go up higher and it makes more sense that it actually happens the more we trade sideways. So the more we spend time here, whenever we take out that high, it's going to be more powerful. For now, this looks like a false little move, and I do think we're going to go up higher. But if you're trading and um, you know trying to uh, better manage entries, then I would wait for a, a break of this level. Here's the price of crude oil. Uh, crude oil uh, turned bullish. You might remember we said go long at 58.04, take out that level, and this could go up higher. Uh, the market is up now to our advantage, and if it goes down to 57.90 again, I think traders will look to go long again. Uh, I said yesterday again, you know, bullish here. So traders that are not long, they're not going to be going long here unless they have to. I think we're going to have a pullback to 57.90 and then from these levels the market may potentially head to the upside. But if one is already long from the entry here at 58.06, then I would just keep this because I do think we have a potential resumption of the big picture uptrend here in crude oil and I think this will continue to head up higher uh, in the next few days. Let's see if I can load the price of gold. So this is gold. And as you know, last week we said, you know, sell here and this can go down. And it did very nicely. Yesterday, I think I said, if I remember correctly, that if we trade below this level, it makes sense to go lower. Now, you see, we had a break here. It happened at 6 p.m. London time. It's not usually a good idea to trade any breakouts after, um, and actually after 3 p.m. London. Unless there's some uh, good US data, say the ISM numbers that tend to be published at 3 p.m., uh, and those are terrible and people are like selling dollars, or they're really good and people are buying dollars. Unless that is happening, it's not the best idea to trade a breakout at that time of the day. S uh, same if you have, you know, the Fed rate meaning 
which is usually at 7 o'clock London time. And you know, in that case, it's fine to trade these moves. However, though, if it's any normal Monday or any other normal day, it's not the best idea to work with breakers at that time of the day, unless you see you know similar sort of action across many currency pairs. So with that in mind, I am adjusting the entry here to 1240. Uh, 1240, take that out, then I think we can go down a little bit. For now, I think this is going to bounce up a bit. And if it goes all the way up to this level here, which is 1280.54, I think you're just going to sell here for this go down lower and lower. For right now, a song should be below 1274, which is level up here. I see no reason to change my bias for this market. Uh, this is the DAX. So this is the DAX 30. So a few days ago, we said if we take out uh, 1304, this market might turn bullish uh, and head to the upside. It did so. Since then, it pulled back a little bit. But as long as it's straight about 12,982, which is this level down here, I do suspect this market is going to head to the upside. As well, this is the time of the year now where markets tend to rally. So it makes it sense to be bearish because of seasonalities. OK, guys. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. I'll be back here at 9 a.m. sharp tomorrow. Uh, the reason for us doing it later today is that we were uh, looking at the uh, UK Consumer Price Index and we were looking at the uh, pound yen. Uh, we wanted to see what that could do uh, following the, the data or the numbers. And we said that if it manages to take out 151.74, then this could push to the upside just because of the overall bullish trend. We're also looking at the pound dollar. And uh, we said that if the numbers were bad, uh, the market could potentially take out 133.18 and drift to the downside. So that's what we were looking at. Um, if you want to join these events, they're actually free to join. Uh, just click on Education and Webinars, and we have a similar event coming up on Monday next week. That will be Monday 18th, where we're going to take a look at the Consumer Price Index. We're going to add more events uh, as well, but because it's the end of the month, uh, I'm taking a few days off. So most likely, following this event, we're going to uh, take a little break and then be back in January. We do as well have a, a cryptocurrency webinar coming up uh, on December 14th, which uh, we're going to take a look at some of the more interesting ideas for 2018. It's free to join. You just need to sign up here to join this specific webinar. If you want to join the live trading events, you just click here and, and you can sign up for that as well. As well, don't forget to check out the premium section. We do offer more content for clients. We do have uh, educational videos um, that you can have access to. Uh, if you have just a demo account with us, we have the quarterly outlooks, which you again have access to, and we have special reports. Uh, to give you an idea, we have uh, a report coming up about the politics and the political events of the next year, which we're going to uh, look at. And if you're a full member or full client of Amata Capital, you have access to all of this with the webinars, plus the advanced Forex ebook. Uh, which is a book that provides you several strategies on how to trade the markets. You have access to trade signals that includes auto charters, uh, trading central and close and horns. And as well, you have access to this, which is called Chat with Our Strategist, which are webinars uh, directly with uh, uh, us, the analysts here at uh, tradecapital.com. And it's a small group setting, so it's just clients. Uh, so it's not as the usual webinars where we have a lot of different people, not many different questions. So that you can check this out. We do have other things as well. Uh, for a minimum deposit of fifty thousand uh, pounds, you do also have access to one-on-one coaching with myself uh, for a few occasions. If you have any more questions about that, then we do have a contact page. You can check it out here uh, on the contact us. You can just send us an email, or you can just reach out to me. Uh, via Twitter at AlexFX00. That is AlexFX, like Forex, double zero. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys tomorrow here at the live training room. Thank you.